Good afternoon everyone, you're with me on. Today is Thursday, July 28th. I'm Aisha Sindhu. Here are the top stories we're tracking right now. Indian national Gurdeep Singh, who was arrested in Indonesia in 2004 for his involvement in heroin smuggling, might be executed this Friday. But India's Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj is making last-minute efforts to save him. An Indonesian court pronounced a death sentence for Singh in 2005, which was later upheld by the country's Supreme Court in 2006. Harish Dulani, the driver who was the main eyewitness in the 1998 poaching case against Indian actor Salman Khan, has made a statement following Khan's acquittal in the case. Dulani sticks to his claim that the actor did in fact kill the animals. He goes on to claim that his absence from court proceedings was on account of facing threats since the incident 18 years ago. Flash floods and landslides have led to the deaths of more than 60 people in Nepal. The government has launched rescue and relief operations in 14 affected districts. The country has become more prone to landslides after being hit by a devastating earthquake in 2015 that claimed 8,000 lives. In America, President Barack Obama spoke at the Democratic National Convention to encourage Americans to vote for the party's presidential nominee, Hillary Clinton. Obama vouched for Clinton's readiness to finish the work he started while in office. He went on to call Clinton more deserving of the post than himself and former President Bill Clinton. India has reported land and air incursions by China's People's Liberation Army in the northern state of Uttarakhand. The first incident occurred on July 22nd in a disputed patch of pasture land in the Barahoti area. The second was an airspace violation on July 25th in the same zone. The Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force has submitted a report to the Ministry of Home Affairs. And social media website Facebook has crashed Wall Street's estimates with their quarterly earnings and revenue. The website's earnings of 97 cents per share shocked analysts who had expected 82 cents per share on revenues of $6.02 billion. Relevant and engaging ads are being credited for Facebook's huge rise in revenues. With that, it's a wrap. Stay tuned to our digital, mobile and social media platforms for the very latest from around the world. Thanks very much for watching.